Well, um, I thought I'd give you an update on my uh, my eye, my right eye, and uh, the vision in it. I went and saw uh, a doctor yesterday in Bozeman, which is about a 120 mile round trip from here. Um, and well, they were able to finally see to the back of my right eye because the veins had diminished that much that uh, were blocking my vision. And uh, I, I knew that it was improving because uh, I'm not squinting uh, when I talk and when I'm looking around and stuff like that and I can actually see better out of the uh, right eye. And because of the four months that I've been going to this uh, retinal specialist in Bozeman, he could finally see the back of my eye. He had some, well, not great news. The, uh, he, he said I had a macular hole uh, developing in my eye. And it's not a, a physical hole in your eye. It's, it's, there's billions of little wavy sensors, little things with, on a little, no, oh, it's like a finger with some kind of sensor on the end of it. And that's what you, you know, gives you your sight. Uh, you know, you've got the, the uh, retina that has a bunch of endings uh, in there to, for the main uh, uh, vision. And then you got all these billions of sensors all along the wall of your uh, your eye, and it, what it does is it forces some of those sensors to part, and that creates a hole in the vision. And it's caused by a bubble that develops or a collapsed part of the inner wall of the eye, and. Uh, he could see that, and uh, he could see where the, the hole was developing um, in my eye. And if it's let, left to its uh, natural conclusion, I would go blind in my right eye completely, eventually. So, he said that they're going to have to do surgery on my eye. And... Uh, your eyes are actually an extension of your brain. It's actually brain material, uh, which is a miracle. I mean, if you think about our bodies and, and all the, the, it, it was designed. It was not just born or developed that way. It was designed. Every animal, every creature on the earth is a miracle of creation. It really is, and it shows a divine hand in our creation. And so, when something, you know, goes bad, it's it's uh, it's just really bad. Um, I just got back from Thanksgiving dinner at uh, Penny Hall's house, uh, Ken and Penny Hall's house. She went through this. And she didn't have it in one eye, she had it in both eyes, and she had detached retinas, which is, which I don't have. And uh, so anyway, after my operation, when, when they do it, they'll pump air into my eye, you create a bubble of air. And for four solid days and nights, I've got to sit with my head facing straight down to cause that bubble to rise, which will eventually push that uh, collapse back against the outer wall of the eye. And uh, it has to stay there to, you know, just reattach. She had to do it uh, with both eyes, and she had to do it for 14 days and nights, with only five minutes per hour that she could get up and do anything but five minutes only, and then she had to go back into the position again. Now, I've been stressing on having to sit with my head down for four days, 
I can't even imagine 14 days. And she had to do that twice. Two weeks, almost a full month of sitting with her head down. I had no idea. And it turns out there's a lot of people in the valley here that have had this happen to them. So I'm not alone. It's uh, the operation was only two years old when she got it done. Uh, and this is back in the early part of the 2000s. So this, this uh, technology has not been here more than 20, not even 20 years yet. So if, if I had had this happen back in the 90s, I'd be blind right now in that one eye. I mean, I still got my left eye, but it's, you pray nothing goes wrong with it. Well, I just thought I'd let you know. Uh, I'm not going to be sculpting uh, for a while. Um, I've got an appointment uh, with the uh, surgeon on uh, either Wednesday or Friday of next week. I've got to figure out who's going to be able to take me to Bozeman to uh, see the doctor. That's another thing. It's having to rely on my friends to get me around and it's uh, it really makes you thankful for their help. But anyway, um, it's going to be tough, but I remember when I was a kid and, and seeing film of people who had polio that were stuck in an iron lung with only their head sticking out of the lung itself. They couldn't, that's the way they lived out their lives, is, is with their head outside. They were completely dependent on other people to take care of them. And uh, so what I'm going to go through is going to be nothing compared to what some people go through uh, to restore their health or to live. So I appreciate the prayers that I'm going to be getting, and I'm sure I will. And to my family, uh, Heidi and Jason and Michael, uh, I just want you to know that uh, I'll be fine. And uh, I got a lot of friends here. They're going to come in and check on me every once in a while during that four days. And um, Penny has got her sight back, but it's not perfect because she had detached retinas in both eyes. And it's not perfect, but she it says it's amazing <coughs> how the brain rewires itself. And uh, I just sat there with her and she was sitting there eating with no glasses on. So she didn't even need her glasses. So it, it's fixable and I'll get through it. I think I'm more fearful of four days sitting in one spot with my head facing the table for four days. I'm going to have to get a special cushion to uh, lay my head on that will have a hole in it that uh, I can look down and not, you know, have my face smashed into a pillow or anything. I won't be able to sl lay in my bed uh, for f four days, and uh, it'll mean sleeping where I'm sitting, so basically it's, it's going to be a tough one. But I can do it, and uh, 14 days, I can't even imagine. I've got so much to be thankful for. My Lord has blessed me with an ability not many people are born with. And, you know, I'm able to create uh, art, works of art and, uh, you know, take clay and put it in an empty space of air and create something that never was before. And it's, I, I just, I, I'm, I just feel so blessed. But I uh, don't want anybody feeling sorry for me. I'm going to be fine. And, uh. I won't be on the computer for four days. I don't know. I'm going to have to figure something out. Um, I got a laptop. I can probably set it up below me, but I won't be able to use my glasses, so I won't be able to read anything or, or really see clearly anything. And uh, I won't be able to read anything, so I'm going to get some books on uh, DVD or on, my, uh, or on my computer so I can listen to some books. Give me a t good time to read and, and or at least listen to the books on tape and or on DVD. All right everybody uh, I'll see you next time and I'll keep you guys informed and uh, I know you'll pray for me but I, I really appreciate all my friends out there and I really appreciate my friends here locally that are helping me out. 
All right. Good night.